Hey guys, Jennifer from Scrappy Under the Influence. So if you follow me on Facebook, you know I went to a retreat at Three Craft Chicks up in Washington State over the weekend. Um, it was awesome. Um, Michelle and Lauren and um, Victoria did a wonderful job. We had a surprise visit from... Um, <clears throat> Cynthia and Allison. Cynthia is the owner of Doodlebug, and we had classes with Susie West. Um, it was probably one of the best retreats I think I've been to. It was so much fun. Um, so I just thought I would get on here and do kind of a quick little recap um, of some of our projects and things and, and um, what we did and so on and so forth. So, um, <clears throat> the way Michelle does her retreats, they run Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and she does a kickoff party on Thursday night that's an, an extra small fee, but you end up with a really cool swag bag. So um, everybody had their little name tags on um, their station, so they'd gone through and you know found your mermaid name and whatnot and put it on the cute little clipboard. Um... <laughs> So I attended the kickoff party the first night. This was our swag bag full of stuff. Um, it had a make and cake designed by Lauren. Lauren is Michelle's daughter and she actually um, designs all of Michelle's layout, layout kits and card kits and whatnot. Um, and you can find her on Facebook with layouts by Lauren. Um, and she does some really, really cute stuff. So her, her uh, make and take was this little tag card thingy that was supposed to open up like this. And then in the direction, she said, oh, you know, you can always add some more tags and make it into a booklet, which is what I ended up doing. <laughs> so I made mine into a little book. And of course, you know, where it's basically kind of an accordion fold, it's double-sided. Um, I used the pink... Nouveau Drops, which those kind of got smushed, um, that were in the uh, goodie bag and used a magnet in there in the ribbon to hold that closed. So that was fun. Um, just a quick, easy project. Um, and then in the swag bag, we had these adorable little mermaid tail keychains. Um, we have a whole bunch of paper in here. And we have Nouveau Drops, which are awesome. I think the ones I have at home here are older because mine don't flow as well as these do. So I'm thinking mine might be quite a bit older. But um, we got a bunch of paper from the, uh, excuse me, the um, Simple Stories I Am line. Let me get this opened up. So we had, you know, some chipboard. We had... Um, some of the cardstock from the line and I somehow had not seen this one before and it's really pretty I quite like this so I'll do something with this some uh, some sort of small project with this um, before too much longer here and then some um, just some other fun papers and stuff in here that you know are kind of good for a little bit of everything and some glitter paper and there's the stickers that go with the I am collection we had some Doodlebug Fancy Pearls, because those are always fun. And Doodle Pops, and Ribbon, and some little felt mermaids, and just some other fun little ephemera and whatnot. Uh, six by six pad, a uh, square sequence from Doodlebug, a Simple Stories um, Snap Pack, which if you haven't played with these before, these are really fun. Um, so this is all, this was all in our swag bags from the first night. Oh, cute straw. <laughs> um, the next morning we came in, actually I take it back. Maybe these were part of the kickoff party too, actually. Uh, some nail polish with a way cute little, um, mermaid tail that really you could probably use that as like a hair tie for a little girl and then um betty and 
I've lost Betty's last name. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Betty always makes something special for the table gifts for um, all of Michelle's retreats. So she did this little bag and it has like kind of a snap closure and it pops open and it was full of some fun little stuff. We had some lotion, some gum, and some san hand sanitizer and whatnot in there. So that was fun. And that is like way old doodle bug fabric. I don't know where she got it from, but it's so cute. Uh, okay, and so also on our table on Saturday, so Michelle does a charm bracelet. And when it's your first crop with her, or retreat crop, whichever you want to call it, with her, you get a little charm bracelet with a charm for that event. And every subsequent crop, you get another charm to put on your bracelet. So I thought that was really a fun, um, fun little thing that I didn't know she did. Um, and then she also, we had a ex an exclusive pin designed by Doodlebug for us. So here we've got our little mermaid. The little shell says three craft chicks. So I did add that to my collection. <laughs> We also all got a mug with Under the Sea, Three Craft Chicks Retreat. Um, and then, like I said, Cynthia and Allison surprised us. And we got to do two cards designed by Cynthia that we did as a class with Cynthia. So that was, that was really fun. And I mean, look how cute these are. So, and this was fun. Like we did this little shaker card and instead of having us do it the way you would traditionally think of a shaker card where you're going to use foam squares and acetate and all this. She actually had us use packaging from a doodle pop. Totally wouldn't have thought of that. And actually when I did my um, little album here, that's what I did here is I used the packaging from um, something. I don't remember what that I had. <laughs> something, but I just used packaging so I didn't have any acetate for my little shaker there and it worked really well um so we had that and then they did prize giveaways like crazy I can't even tell you um I ended up winning this cute little bag that's got some um oh my gosh cute little mermaid notepad in here um some pens and another little sparkly sequin keychain. Um, I won this adorable mermaid. And so like she sits on a shelf like this. Um, and I was really excited to win her because I just thought she was adorable. Um, I won a doodle bug travel planner, which if you're familiar with those, they are really cool. I still have to figure out how to use mine because I am not good with these. <laughs> But I was really excited because I love the Buffalo Check print on this one. Um, let's see here. And then she also did a birthday party um, for all the April, May, and June birthdays. And since my birthday was in April, that was my fun little birthday thing. And I know I'm missing something here. Oh, okay. So we did classes. So Susie taught a tag class using uh, Bella Boulevard. So those were our tags. We did that on Saturday night. And I know I won a Doodlebug card kit here somewhere. I just don't know where I'm going with it. Okay, well I've put it somewhere. I'm not sure what I've done with it, but it's literally like one of their the few card kits of theirs I didn't have. So that was awesome. <laughs> Um, and then this was the album class of Susie's that I did. So this on the front turns, which was kind of a fun little element. And then you open it up and this had a magnet, which I hid my magnet um, in there. And then this opened up like so. And then, you know, a little page protector. This flips open this way. Um, some little tags in here, little pinwheel, more tags on this side, and another photo mat on that side. So that was fun. And then I did 
Lauren's Chalk Tour class. I have never done one of these before. So this was the design we did. We got to pick our colors. Can I just tell you how much fun this was? I totally, I just did it to see what all the fuss was about. Cause I know, you know, you see it all over Facebook and whatnot. Nowadays, um, Lauren does also sell chalk couture on top of doing her layouts and stuff that um, are sold at Three Craft Chicks. And honestly, I had so much fun doing this, way more than I expected to. Um, so I'm going to be looking into that because this was awesome. And it was so much easier to do than I would have thought. And I cannot wait to get this hung up in my room. Um, let's see. And we also did oh let me show you this so i also had awesome people at my table that did table gifts and i'm always a slacker and i totally forget about it until it's too late so i got this little fun um case from katie uh that i can put some washi tape or really i probably will end up putting like pins and scissors and stuff in here because it's a good size. Um, and then Tracy, I'm dropping stuff back here. There we go. Okay, Tracy did these little Avery L bags. And if you have not seen these, they are awesome. So I flew to the event, which this is the first time I've flown to like a craft thing. So that was totally new to me. Didn't know how to pack my stuff. It was crazy. But I put up these like, you can see through them, but they don't leak. So I flew with all my glue in one of these kind of these bags. So cute mermaid pen, jewel picker, um, little, you know, sparkly mermaid keychain, some brads and some stickles. Well, stickles and a pearl, which I didn't realize that was a pearl until I'd already done something else. Um, chapstick and a cute little holder, and then this. I love this. This is so cute. So she found these pens. I'm not sure where, somewhere online, but how stinking cute is that? I love that. And then, as I'm sure you saw my video, they did a contest to do a mermaid themed or um, under the sea themed project of some kind, layout card, what have you. I, of course, did a mini album. <laughs> So I did a mini folio, um, just because if you're new to the new to mini albums, these are probably the easiest thing you can make are folios. Um, I did the little shaker on front that is held closed with a magnet, and then inside, of course, we've got you know cute little waterfall over here. That's you know of course magnetic, um, you know just a fun little spots for photos, a little tuck spot here. Vitamin C was my title there. Just a fish out of water was my title on my little half page flap. Um, splish splash here and I've got the little whales and then some stack pockets with some little tags in here and then another tuck spot. And then, um, oh, that goes this way. and then life is the bubbles. That was my other little title and another tech spot here and um I ended up winning the contest and there were a couple other like really good entries so I was really excited to win and um, ended up winning and I am doing a tutorial on this I'm just waiting for I've got a new camera setup coming so that I don't have to keep using my phone for this and it will be here tomorrow so I will be doing that tomorrow um so I ended up winning one of the foundation decor welcome signs. I've been eyeballing these for a while. I was going to get one because they're just way cute. And I ended up winning one. So that was awesome. And then I picked the uh, ice cream sign for, for my little sign on the front. And this is all magnetic. So like you can change this out. There's a whole bunch of different ones. And I actually went to um, local store uh, mom and me yesterday and got a couple more of these and some extra pieces to kind of make my own. So that'll be fun. Um, let's see here. Aha, there's my card kitty one. Yeah, there's my card kitty one. I think it's 
it's one of the few doodle bugs that I don't have, so that was awesome. All right, so stuff out of the way here. And of course, there was a card swap, and you know how I love the card swaps. So this, let me get this opened up here. Maybe. So this was my card. So I did a tunnel card using print and cut with the Cricut, cut, you know, all my little pieces and parts here. And actually, if you can see this in the back there, there we go. Those little waves, and they probably aren't going to show up real well in the video. Those were done with the foil quill with the maker, which I have to say is super easy to use. The results are amazing. Just make sure your Cricut's out of warranty before you use it because it will void the warranty on your Cricut. If you've had your Cricut at least a year, you're out of warranty. You're good to go. Um, and I will be doing something with that to, to showcase that a little bit better because it was so much fun to use. But this was probably one of the um, one of the better card swaps that I've been in. So um, it was really fun. Look at that narwhal. How cute is that? And then cute, I mean, just really some fun, fun cards. I mean, look at that cute Harry Potter one. Um, some really fun cards, and I love, I can never get my layers that good. Um, cute, cute stuff. So I want to show you a couple of them. So this was my friend Amy. She has also discovered the magic of Cricut print and cut when it comes to doodle bug images for card swaps. So yay me. <laughs> um, this one was my friend Georgia. And then I have to show you a couple of these here because they were just really fun. So this one, so you fold that little butterfly up like that. Oops. And then this just slides up over his wings. How cool is that? Is that not the prettiest card? Um, so there was that one. And this is done with the with a die from Lawn Fawn. If I can get it open. Oh, okay. So this is done with a die from Lawn Fawn that I've been going to get. How stinking cute, right? I mean... That's just ingenious. I love it. I need to get that die. Um, that was a good one. Just a general cancer one for, because the purple ribbon is for all cancers. And a cute mermaid. Just a very nice thank you card. Another cute mermaid. Um, Murtis did this one. This cute, adorable little, I need to open this one up because this one's way cute open. So this is actually a gift card holder. Like, how cute is that? I may actually end up using this for my husband this year because I love it. Um, but she did that and then she found these way cute little gift boxes that she put with it. And then this one with the butterflies is just beautiful. And then another little mermaid shaker card. So that was really fun. Um, Overall, seriously, it was a great retreat. It was so much fun. I had the best um, table group that I think we were probably the loudest ones in the entire retreat, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, you know, so Tracy and Amy and Katie and Georgia and Carol and I cannot remember everybody else's names because I'm terrible with names. Um, it was just fun. It was an amazing retreat. It, I met a lot of neat people. I made a lot of new friends. Hi, Diane. Hello, new wife. Um, <laughs> long story there. Anyway, um, but it was so much fun. I cannot wait until I get a chance to go back up for another one, which probably, unfortunately, isn't going to be until sometime next year because I'm kind of booked solid for the rest of this year. So, um, but it was awesome. If you get a chance to go to one of Michelle's retreats at Three Craft Chicks, by all means, do so. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Thanks for watching.